The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the water, coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pagka minsan may lakad and uh, you're too preoccupied with so many things, and the group would say, Tayo na. And usually you say, Una na kayo. Una na kayo. Maglalakad na lang ako. I do not know if you have experienced when you are so too preoccupied, you don't want to be in the group. You wanted just to walk. Minsan nagbibiruan kami, Bakit daw nakita si Jesus? na naglalakad sa gitna ng dagat or you know that Galilee is a lake. And the simple answer, hindi na niya napansin na naglalakad na daw siya sa ibabaw ng tubig. Ano pa. When you are too preoccupied, yung iba nababangga eh, nasasagasaan, yung iba nahuhulog. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, I guess many of you have read the book of Stephen Covey with regard to the quadrants of choices. You must know what is important, what is not important. You know what is urgent and not urgent. You focus on the things that are important even though they are not urgent. You focus on the things that are important even though they are not urgent. But the common mistake is that we focus on the things that are not important and not urgent. Ayaw natin kasi yun ang mas madali, mas magaan. Ayaw natin tayo nag-aalala. Ayaw natin tayo naabala. Everyone has something to do, need to be done. And sometimes we lost our focus and we end up doing what is not important and what is not urgent. And time will come that you are forced to do what is important and what is urgent. And because of that, it becomes a crisis. Crisis happens in a less number of time. You need to accomplish what is important and what is urgent. Natataranta tayo. And when we are overwhelmed, some will give up. Some will give up. A good friend, a psychologist, a psychiatrist lost a father because of COVID. She was too overwhelmed because at first they cannot find a hospital 
then no no hospital would even give us a give them a chance to line then they were i heard the father was admitted but they have to buy a medicine on their own or something to cut it short she lost his father her father then now it is her mother her and her brother is sick of covid and the pamangkin is the one getting in touch with me asking for prayer asking for prayer and what is that my tita has given up ayaw na niyang uminom ng gamot ayaw na niyang lumaban the doctor have said she is already on her way to recovery but if she refused to take the medicines it will worsen her situation my dear friends my brothers and sisters we have our own breaking point and we have to understand where we stand as i've said ano bang ba aking lakas ano bang ba aking kahinaan hanggang saan ba ang PC ko if you give up emotionally then the rest will follow if you give up emotionally then the rest will follow it 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 will not guarantee that you are a psychologist or a psychiatrist you will not experience depression the first reading is speaks of what regardless how good you are sometimes things will overwhelm you and you have to act according to what is more important what is more urgent before things become in crisis ano sabi ko kahapon bago ka subukan ng Dios alam na ng Dios kung ano ang dapat niyang gawin but you have to be creative and act accordingly according to your strength third you will be provided not according to your wants but according to your needs and for you know that you get to need you have the need to get stuck kailangan nag-iipon ka kasi hindi mo alam kung kailan ka muling masusubukan maging ang mga kasama ni Jesus sa ebanghelyo ano sabi they were afraid they were afraid even god has to focus himself on the things what is really more important hindi tayo dios hindi ka dios ang mahirap doon ay nagjojos dios ang ka na sa palagay mo kaya mo mahalagang ikaw ay patuloy na nananalig sa dios are those pilots not afraid in flying of course they are sometimes are those captains in the ship are not afraid of the waves of course they are as i have said many times my brothers and sisters when you say i am not afraid you know that you are already afraid in logic in logic an eighty an atheist is betrayed by his statement when he said i don't believe in god i don't believe in god the mere fact that you mention god then you believe god the mere fact that you said i i am not afraid then you are bit your statement already betrayed yourself you have to accept that you have to accept 
my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, there is nothing wrong to be afraid. There's nothing wrong. It is not a sin to be afraid. It, it does not make us less human when you accept that you are afraid. But what is the call? That you will not allow your fear to paralyze you. To do what is more important and to do what is more urgent. Again, there is nothing wrong to be afraid. It is not a sin to be afraid. It does not make us less human being afraid. But you should never allow your fear to paralyze you and prevent you from doing what is urgent and what is more important. Amen. Tomorrow, the third Sunday of the month, we will be having a special blessing for all those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary for this month. Ano pa? So in our Masses 9 and 12, 15 online, we will have this special prayer for all couples celebrating their wedding anniversary for this month. Second, we never stop our communion outside the Mass from every day, 10 o'clock to 11 in the morning. Tuloy-tuloy po yung ating communion, 10 to 11 in the morning, every day. Hindi po yan tumigil. Ano po? You attend the online Mass or what, what online Masses you are attending, you come 10 to 11, you receive communion, you go. Don't gather inside the church, you go home. You know? But please don't be late. Don't be late. Don't, don't expect that the priest assigned for the day will wait for you. Because I see people who are late coming in the last minute. No, don't be late. I tell you, when you come on time, you are already late. So, come a little before the end you come. Especially in the mass, don't be late. Even though you are online, don't be late. It's not a good attitude. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, time never waits. Kahit kailan ng oras ay hindi nagaantay. Kung ayaw mong kumilos, ang oras ay tuloy-tuloy na gumagalaw. So what is not urgent today will become urgent in the coming days or in the future. Work on what is more important before it becomes urgent. Because when things are important and urgent, it might lead you to crisis. Someone said a good leader knows how to do and address important things before it becomes a crisis. A person, as I always say, you stay focused. You should know your priorities. Do not forget to pray while you work. Work while you pray. Huwag mong iaasa sa Diyos ang mga bagay-bagay na dapat ikaw ang gumagawa. And fourth, do not be afraid to make painful decisions for God. There's nothing wrong being afraid. There's nothing wrong. It will not make you less of a person if you are afraid. It is not a sin to be afraid. What is wrong? When we get paralyzed because of our fears. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.